Thanks for joining News 3 Now at 10. I'm Amanda Quintana. Sun Prairie Police are putting extra officers at the Sweet Corn Festival tonight after a fight that happened last night. Amy Reed joins us to explain what happened and what police are doing to keep it from happening again tonight. It was only a little earlier than this last night when two teen girls got into a fight and quickly 30 to 40 of their friends gathered around to egg them on. But then Sun Prairie police stepped in and now they're making sure that everyone knows that's not welcome here tonight or tomorrow. Serious? Chris Gansky hit record when she saw what was happening. Two teen girls, 13 and 15, fighting while their friends watched. It was horrible to see it because it's just not, it's not right. You take your children to go and, you know, celebrate the end of the summer, school starting again, and you have to deal with them seeing that. In the video, you can see police jumping in quickly to break things up, which organizers were grateful for. They said this is the biggest disruption the Corn Festival has had, and they and police want people to know it's not okay. It angered me that individuals come to an event, a family event like this, and create that type of situation when it's not necessary. It really is not necessary to, to behave that way. Both the girls who fought were arrested for disturbing the peace. The 15-year-old tried to hit the officer arresting her, which added an extra charge of resisting arrest. No officers were injured. Today, police increased their presence, and they plan to do so through the night. Zero tolerance. We're just not going to put up with that type of behavior. It's just not acceptable for a family event. And if you're going to come here and, and engage in that behavior, you're not going to be welcome here, and you're going you're gonna to be arrested, and you're going to have those consequences, and you won't be part of the parks. Chris appreciates the extra presence because it makes her feel safer, but she said parents aren't teaching their kids how they should behave, and until something is fixed on that front through repercussions or even a chaperone system, she's not sure she wants to come back once the sun goes down. I don't think we're going to do the night night thing anymore. <laughs> Even though it was fun for the little ones to see the lights, I, it's that's sober and done with, I think, for sure. Sun Prairie Police say this incident seems bigger than it was. In the grand scheme, it was pretty minor, and it shouldn't deter families from coming out and enjoying the festival tomorrow. All right. Thank you so much, Amy.